So guys, welcome to another video series in which we are going to learn about Dart tutorials for beginners. Now the aim of this video series is to learn Dart programming language as a beginner so that we can make apps using Flutter. Now making apps using Flutter such as web applications or mobile applications is one of the usage of Dart programming language. Flutter is a framework that is developed by Google. So it is recently made framework by Google which helps us to create mobile apps or web applications as well now apart from this you can also make single page web applications using dart so learning dart programming language has many benefits that is you can make single page web applications or you can use this in order to make mobile applications as well using flutter so flutter is another framework which we are going to see in the upcoming video series as well now how do we set up the dart environment now there are two ways guys that you can set up the dart environment the very first way is to execute script online with dart pad so this is the link which i will give in the description section as well you can use this link in order to quickly run your dart code so once you open this link you will see the ui in this way so basically this is the main function of the dart code so I'm going to explain you what are all these things in the code. So no need to worry when you see this for the very first time. The only thing that you need to understand is when you click over here on run, you will see the output in this way that is hello that is printed five times. So this is the functionality of this particular code that is already written in this Dart pad. Now this is one way of executing your Dart code. Another way to execute is to set up the Dart environment locally, which means that you need to install the Dart SDK on your local computer or laptop device. So basically this is the link from where you can download the Dart SDK and once you download and extract the Dart SDK, this is how it is going to look. As you can see Dart SDK folder and inside this folder there will be many folders and files as well. So this is the installation part of the Dart SDK and the major files that is the important files will reside in this bin folder. So guys let us try writing our first code in Dart. So basically I am going to use this Visual Studio code which you can easily download from their official website. So on Google you can search for VS code download and then you will find the link over here download Visual Studio code for Mac, Linux or Windows. So based on your operating system you can download the VS code but apart from VS code you can also use Notepad or Notepad++ or any other editor in order to write your Dart codes. So guys the starting step to write a Dart program is to write a main function. Now to write a main function we start with void. So void is a keyword which means that we are not returning anything after executing this function. We are going to learn more about functions in the upcoming videos as well. So this is followed by a space and then we write main keyword. So guys this is nothing but the main function. Now this has to be followed by open and close brackets and then after that what needs to be executed in this function needs to be present inside a curly braces. So over here we write the curly braces and inside these curly braces we write our code. Now guys this is the syntax that we start with in order to write the Dart program. Basically in all the programming languages we have the main function as the starting step and the syntax is similar to this syntax. Now how do we write what needs to be present inside main. So let's say we are writing the first program as hello world and we want to print something so we have a function called print now this is another inbuilt function in dart which helps us to print something on our screen now this needs to be followed by open braces now guys what is this open bracket so basically any function that we define or whatever function that is already present in dart programming language it takes some parameters so those parameters needs to be present in these open and close brackets now inside this parameter what we are supposed to put is what we want to print on screen now let us print a statement over here now a statement is nothing but a string and string is one of the data types in dart that we are going to see in the upcoming videos as well so we start with a double quote or else we can use a single quote as well in order to print a string so we will put the name of this youtube channel that is programming for beginners 
and then in the end we are supposed to put a semicolon guys this semicolon is important at the end of every line in dart except when we are using conditional statements so whenever we are using print function or any other function it needs to end with a semicolon and then we save this so let's say if i save this particular program with dart program dot dart now the extension that is used in order to save this dart code is dot dart and now what we will do is since we have saved this program as you can see dart program dart source file in this particular path we are going to open the command prompt over here since i am working on windows so i am going to open the command prompt so after opening the command prompt in this path what we are going to do is run that program now in order to run that code we are supposed to type dart which is a keyword in order to run our program and then followed by our program name as we can see dart underscore program dot dart and then we press enter so as you can see programming for beginners is printed over here and in this way we have successfully written our very first program in dart so guys let me show you another example of print statement let's say we want to print another statement over here and then we again write a statement inside the double quotes and we say this is second line of our program and then we have a semicolon over here control s in order to save this program and then we run the program again so you can see programming for beginners this is second line of our program now instead of these double quotes you can provide the single quote as well so if you provide a single quote the output will be same so we save this file and then run this file again so as you can see programming for beginners this is second line of our program and in this way you can print the statements in dart programming language so guys this is the very first program that you can see this is the syntax so we started with the return type of the function that is void which means that this function will not return anything and then followed by the main keyword and then open and close brackets and then inside curly braces we wrote our code that is the two print statements so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you can get upcoming video notifications as well the next video that we are going to see is data types and dart programming so stay tuned